Good evening everyone this is Manas Patnaik your friend and tutor and in today's session we'll be discussing a very important topic and that is low chi of point this is going to be the introductory part and i want all of you to watch it right till the end it is going to be somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes long but very very enriching and yes uh, over the past few months students have messaged me especially the ones who are studying in gujarat or gujarat technical universities this happens to be a topic in their syllabus so uh, well this video is just for them okay so we'll be covering all the basics in today's video and we'll be uh, solving a lot of examples as well in the upcoming days let's start as to what exactly is loci of points and first of all how do you pronounce this you can pronounce it simply by saying lo kai okay there is a very famous uh, marvel character loki huh. <laughs> you can just say lo kai that's it anyways uh the first question is what is locus sir can you demonstrate how exactly a locus looks like and how can we make a locus here is an example just take a look what we have over here are two points this point over here is fixed lovely and this point over here is moving okay so characteristics done now take a look this point changes its position here it is this is the new spot so what is the common thing that you can extract from both these positions so uh this was let's say this is 5 units so this again is going to be 5 units so the point has moved in such a manner that it has maintained its distance okay now again it shifts to a new position this again is 5 units this again is 5 units if the point consistently maintains its constant distance from this fixed point well this is how it would look this is the track that it is going to follow if i can just show you all the positions of the point in one single picture here it is okay and when you join all of these points in proper sequence you know what you get well that's a circle okay so uh, the thumb rule is if let's say this is p1 if this is p2 if this is p3 the thumb rule is that the distance for all the positions of the point p from point o this distance is always going to be a constant in that case this path that it traces this path that it traces is what is known as a circle and this path in itself to be very uh, i mean to generalize it this path is nothing but a locus always remember let me just read this out for you a locus is the path of a point okay which in this case is a circle i hope now you have got a very good idea as to what exactly a locus is what is locus simply when you speak about locus remember it's nothing but the path of a point that point could be moving in a three dimensional space that point could be moving on your screen that is a 2d plane right so uh let me just define this scenario this was just example one what i always do is give a demo first followed by the definition okay let's read this out so that our concepts are very very concrete here we go the locus of a point p moving in a plane okay the screen the screen on which you are watching this video is a plane about another point o so this is point o and this is that point p that i am talking about in such a way that its distance from it is always constant this distance this distance it is always constant so the locus of the point that is path of the point is nothing but a circle and its radius is equal to this constant distance op is example one clear to you i hope it is and if there are any doubts do let me know in the comments example 2 and let me just show you the demonstration first so what we have over here is basically a line that is fixed name of the line is ev and let me have a point lovely okay so the point lies at a certain distance let's say d from this line okay you can also call this distance as the perpendicular distance no problem the point is now going to shift to a new position and here it is right again the distance is same or the perpendicular distance is same it also is normal to this line 
you see the point is always going to follow the same rule for each and every position okay that's a very important requirement for a locus again same distance sir and maintaining normality or being perpendicular right you can see the point is going to move in this fashion so what you have if i can just show you all the positions in one single picture this is the track along which the point was moving and this track or the path is what is known as locus always remember when you talk about locus replace this word with path and you can easily understand what is going on okay so the locus of this point which always maintains a constant distance with respect to this line is nothing but a line itself okay the locus of a point the locus of the point let me just write this locus of the point that means the path of the point is a line simply okay the one requirement being that the distance maintained has to be constant okay so this was example 2 let me just read out how uh, the entire scenario is and uh, here we go the locus of a point p moving in a plane in such a way that its distance from a fixed line ab that is distance from a fixed line ab is constant is a line through p parallel to the fixed line as you can see these two lines this is the locus line and this is the fixed line okay they both are parallel to each other right so that was example 2 we've got some more examples okay here we go example 3 and this is very interesting so in this case what we have is a line ab and here what you are going to have is simply an arc ab take a look let me place a point lovely so uh, it seems as if sir this plane also is perpendicular to the arc yes it is perpendicular in fact if you can just extend it it is going to meet at the center right that's why i'm calling it a normal or a perpendicular now it is at a certain distance from a lovely now the point is going to change its position and uh, here we go okay again if you watch the point has actually moved radially because both of them are connecting at the center again the distance maintained is same distance is same and uh, both of them have the association with the same center something something very right is going to happen new position same thing is happening okay same center same distance from this arc again if the points follow these three rules or two rules if i may call it this is how it is going to travel and if i can show you all the different positions in one single picture this is how it is and when you join all of these points in proper sequence what you have is a path path is nothing but the uh, i mean locus of this point okay and the locus is another arc let me draw a much more civilized arc okay so what you have is basically an arc here the arc is having a bigger radii that is the only difference right both of this arc the red one and the original black one share a common center let me just write this common center okay so how, how can we i mean explain this in a statement and here it is when a fixed line previous case was a fixed line okay instead of having a fixed line if it is an arc of a circle the locus will be another arc another arc drawn through p with the same center exactly this is something that you can see right so this was example 3 let's move to another example that is example 4 just take a look at the demonstration what you have are two points and both of them have been connected via this dashed line lovely let me place another point p over here again so thumb rule is point p's distance from a is equal to its distance from b that means pa equals pb it is now going to change its position but it is going to keep following this rule okay it shifts to a new position let me say this is p1 so p1a is equal to p1b let me write this also p1a equals p1b in the same fashion there is going to be another position again it is going to maintain the same distance with respect to a and b if this is how the scenario is let me show you all the positions in one picture and when you join all of these track points in sequence what you have is a line sir but what's so special about this line we understand that uh, if a point is trying to maintain or maintains its distance from two points a and b 
and both of them are equal pa equals pb then what you have is basically a line but what's so special about this the special thing is that if i say this this intersection is o then in that case oa equals ob that means these two distances are equal at the same time here if you have a protractor and if you keep it over there you'll realize that these two lines subtend an angle of 90 degree between them and since the angle is 90 degree and this is the line what you have is basically a perpendicular bisector so let me just read this out for you this is going to be very interesting what is this a perpendicular bisector <coughs> okay so locus of a point equidistant from fixed points a and b and this is the point that we are talking about in the same plane that is on your screen is the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the two points lovely okay isn't it wonderful right erase and move forward this is going to be the last example and a very interesting case here we've got two lines these are non-parallel okay so let me have another point this is the point which will move okay and we'll keep on moving but again following a special rule the rule is that let's say this is p p's distance from a b is equal to points distance from cd always going to maintain this rule okay just watch here we go shifts to new position again the distance from a b is equal to the distance from cd you can also say that so the distances are normal uh, not normal but perpendicular new position same the distance from a b is equal to the distance from c d here it is it can be shown okay let's let's erase all of these things now if the point keeps on following this rule this is what you get and when you join all the points in proper sequence you've got a line here it is but sir again what is so special what is so special about the locus of this very point can you describe this in a much more uh, mathematical sense yes you surely can watch just produce these two lines ba and dc in the backward sense what we realize that there is an angle over here and uh, <laughs> this red colored line happens to be the locus of the point but it also is the angular bisector of the angle between line ab and line cd wonderful okay so that's the rule so the locus of a point let me just read it out for you locus of a point equidistant from two fixed non parallel straight lines ab and cd again the locus is going to be a straight line it is a straight line but bisecting the angle between ab and cd that's the thumb rule i think this was enough for today and uh, in the upcoming videos the next video uh, will solve we will be actually solving this example not solving but rather constructing this example it's it's a wonderful case uh, of a slider crank mechanism this is the element of the machine which is going to uh, or the element of the mechanism which is going to rotate something like this wonderful okay and uh, what you need to do is keep a track of this very point p okay and this is let me just show you how the track of this point p looks like this is how it looks like right this is something which can be achieved by construction and uh, and this is something that we'll be constructing in the next video okay don't forget to watch that stay tuned so guys if you find this content helpful do like and share this video and uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, if you want to learn engineering drawing in depth enroll in my course as soon as possible link is in the description thank you very much have a nice day